Hi guys, I'm Jess and welcome back to Magical Misty. Today we have got a Harry Potter unboxing. I don't think we've had one of these for a while. But these are the mystery ones. This is series one. This is the only series I've been able to get hold of in the UK. These are, I believe, created by Noble Collection, even though I can't see it stated on the box. But I have watched other people open these, so that's what they have said and I trust their judgement but if I am wrong please let me know in the comments down below there are nine mystery ones that you can collect and these include Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley who's this at the bottom? Draco Malfoy, Lord Voldemort, Tonks and Luna Lovegood. I apologise if the lighting keeps going funny. A nice lovely tear strip there. But I do have scissors just in case you need them. We have got four boxes of these today. Now before I open these I would like to state that all of these mystery ones I will be doing a separate review of and comparing them to the collectible versions by Noble Collection if I have them or once the collectible version has been purchased so just so that you are aware so when we open the package, it comes in this really nice cardboard box. You've got the standard Harry Potter packaging all over it. And on the bottom there, this lighting is terrible today. Sorry guys, you've got the copyright information there. So guys, I've just moved across in hopes that the lighting is better. Oh, I did this in one of the ones that I did not mention that was on the back of the box because I didn't notice it. It is the Death Eater wand. Now, all of these ones in series one come with a lenticular bookmark. So on this bookmark you've got the Death Eater. It says Harry Potter and Death Eater down there which probably isn't showing because of the lighting. But that is a lovely, lovely bookmark. And on the bottom there, at the back, it's got the copyright information. Now, I'm going to pull this one out. Of the, it comes in pla plastic protective casing. You have on your wand, just like every wand, the copyright stamp. And this is what the wand looks like. It's very, very pointy, very, very jagged. The feel of the wand does actually feel quite nice. It is a nice wand to hold. I wouldn't personally choose this wand for myself, but it is the perfect, perfect death eater wand because I think it strikes fear in people 
the handle of the wand is very very bendy and on this side you've got some marks in the wand there and then as it tapers down to the point as I mentioned you've got all <laughs> these spikes so that actually is very very nice they feel very nice quality now as I will probably say a lot whoops, in this video these mystery ones are the perfect ones to buy children if they're interested in collecting ones because obviously as we know children like to play with their wands, draw with them, swish them about with their friends and these are perfect for that. These ones are also perfect for someone who does cosplay because they are a good quality wand, they are stunning just as the original and they're not as expensive so it wouldn't matter if they got broken we're going in to one number two now I am really loving these guys now I'm not going to say who I'm hoping for because I don't want to jinx it Ooh. okay first we're going to look at her bookmark but we have got Nymphadora Tonks oh she is just lovely there's a the copyright information there it says Harry Potter Nymphadora Tonks and then we shall pull out her wand just like the other one it comes in this protective plastic casing oh my goodness her wand is stunning seriously that is stunning it's got the perfect place for you to like rest your fingers and do your swishing and your flicking I just love the design though it's very unique just like her this is your handle at the top it's sort of I would guess an arrow or like a leaf shape and then it tapers down to the bottom and you've got a mixture of like shades of brown that is gorgeous now I must say the first two ones we have collected I do not own so that's very interesting so I'm going to have to purchase those To do a review for you guys but that is okay because I'd love to add Nymphadora to the collection on to one number three our second to last one of the video So we have 
Miss Hermione Granger. Now, I do already have her wand in my collection. So this will probably be the ver first comparison review that you will see, guys, when they come out. But her bookmark is lovely. It says Harry Potter, Hermione Granger. You've got the copyright information on the back. Stunning. And then we're going to pull out her wand. This is what her wand looks like. You've got going down the wand, all the leaf patterns, which is just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And you've got more of a rounded top for her. Her wand, I can definitely tell with this design, feels a lot thicker than her original and the collectible version and the leaf pattern it feels more prominent in your hand when you hold it and more noticeable but that doesn't make it uncomfortable at all it is just stunning I think that is there a bend yeah, I think there's a bit of a bend in it, which her wand I don't think usually has. I'm wondering if that's slightly broken. But I'm going to put it back just in case it is. We don't want it broken even more. I think so far, though... My favourite has to be Nymphadora because that's the most unique. So we are on to our last wand now, guys. Doing this video is just ruining my nail polish, but it's fine. Oh, this is hands down going to be my favourite. I need this wand in the collection. I'm so glad I opened him. This is Ron Weasley. Let's look at his lenticular card there. It says Harry Potter, Ron Weasley at the bottom with his copyright information on the back. Let's pull this wand out. Oh my goodness, isn't that stunning? So you've got a dark brown mixed with, I think, like bluey green and it tapers into like this burgundy red. Sorry if the camera's not showing that very well. But oh my God, goodness. The handle on his wand is very, very thick and I think it is on the original as well. But oh my God. I am, this is my favourite, hands down, I love Ron Weasley. I must admit he is my favourite in the Golden Trio. He is just, oh, I love this one so, so much. So, so this out of the four, as I've said, is definitely my favourite. I can't wait to get his original and do a comparison on him. This is going to be stunning. 
So, what did you think of these Harry Potter mystery ones? Please let me know in the comments down below and tell me which one was your favourite. Also, if you know of any way I can get any of the other series in the UK to be able to do a video for you guys, if you'd like to see that, I'd be really grateful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell so you're notified when more Magical Mischief is coming your way. I really hope you have enjoyed this Harry Potter unboxing and I'll see you soon guys. Bye!